We, we do have regrets and, and, and we know more than anybody the mistakes that were made and, and I do hope that other people can somehow learn from our mistakes. No, but we're not looking for, for, for charity or for people to come no. over here and, and give us something they can't afford to give us, that's for sure. That's the last thing we want. We're survivors, like I say, we live here and uh, you know, the first couple of days there was a, a pretty big shock and there was a lot of people telling us what to do and, and so on and so on. But really, I mean, uh, we're not at fault here. You know, we just, we just raised a family here and uh, built a house and, and a forest fire came and wiped it out. Whether we had insurance or not, uh, isn't our fault. You know, we're innocent. We just, we're just here doing our own thing, working every day, paying our taxes like everybody did. And uh, all of a sudden it's all gone. It was, so, it was a difficult you know, year. There are people out there that will blame us for that, I suppose, but um, whatever. And how do you answer the, to those questions, no insurance and that sort of thing? Well, we regret it immensely. When you know, our insurance rates went up so much, and uh, I suppose you can always say you can do this and you can do that. The point is that we didn't. You know, our insurance went up to five or $6,000 a year for a little tiny thousand square foot house that we had and uh, it was ridiculous and I was mad about it and I didn't buy it and um, my fault that's the end of the story it's as simple as that I don't expect anybody to uh, mm. to um, bail me out of that situation it's just where I'm at that's it you know if there's people that can help great if, if they can't help that's just fantastic there's a lot of people uh, in the world and in the community that are a lot worse off than us I can tell you that for sure you know, we still have a place to live. We're on the lake. Um, a good family. Yeah. And and when you when well, that's just it. At face value, when when people see it, they say, "Well, why should I help someone who who has such a?" Uh, and they don't have to. Worth millions of dollars. They don't. Yeah. Nobody has to help, and we will be okay. Appearances, and Kelly. It's appearances. We're not worth millions of dollars. It's as simple <laughs> as that. Just appearances. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the problem that you're running in with with, with the bank, please. Oh well, um, well with BC's Privacy Act, you know, there's a lot of positive things about that. You, the, but with us, we've been somebody in the community has opened up a bank account for us, and unfortunately, with the Privacy Act, they the bank is unable to give people any information on the account number and people are unable to make a deposit into the account without that number. Um, they can't, no, people can't go into the bank and just say they would like to donate money to the fund or... or and I, I feel terrible even talking about... We're not the kind of people we that, would, that would that ask for that kind of stuff, we're not. You know, we've, we've been the kind of people that give that kind of stuff and help out the community and donate wherever I could and, and so on. And the bottom line is uh, we can't afford to build a house. It's as simple as that. We don't have that kind of money, not even close. And um, you know, if there's people that can help, great. If there isn't, that's just fine too. We understand perfectly. What? But it has been frustrating for the Royal Bank and for the bank manager to be fielding calls and, um, and he wants to be able to help us as well, but he can't give out the bank account number and he can't accept any funds um, because of this Privacy Act and, and we did go register at um, Home Depot and, and Home Outfitters so people who feel like they need to help and want to help can. It's kind of odd, that kind of stuff. We were in there yesterday and we're uh, just it's lost. kind of like, what do you do? There's like, we're, even, if you, even if you had some stuff, there's no place to put it. You know, there's no place to put anything. It's like, um, you know, we're living in a, in a hundred square foot room, right? And that's fine, we'll be fine there. And not complaining about that at all. It's way better than a hotel room. We are on the lake and, uh, and that's a big bonus, you know? Um, and we have had uh, the property for sale and it hasn't sold. It's not that we haven't, we haven't made efforts, you know, we, we have. And we appreciate where people are coming from when they see where we live and, and they, they know. It's just weird, you spend your whole life, you know, uh, helping people out, building a business, building a home, raising families, five kids now. And uh, then all of a sudden you turn around one day and it's, Everything's gone. Everything's changed completely, 100% changed. And uh, it makes you wonder why. You know, it really does. A lot of pride to swallow, huh? It's 
huge for me. It's huge. I can't. It's just too hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you've, you've seen the Casternet forums or the, mm -hmm. the other things like that. How do you... We completely understand where people are coming from and uh, appearances aren't always what they seem to be. And uh, we, we aren't, we, we don't want to upset anybody or ask for anything we don't deserve and we don't want people to feel sorry for us and we don't like the situation we're in and, and there's... Yeah, there's just nothing we can do about it, that's I, it. And we are sorry people feel that way. I, I really am very sorry that people feel that way. They should step into our shoes and uh, give it a try. We didn't start the feel. fire. We just made a bad decision. We didn't start the fire. But you have, you have assets, obviously, but judging by the information that, that's been supplied. It's been, there. you know, the economy you know, has so, been so bad that you, it's just... Our assets are pretty, pretty small right now, Kelly. You know, overall, we're, uh, we're just struggling by, that's it. Have a couple you know, of snowmobiles for sale. <laughs> didn't get burned, but um, we can sell them and we can do a few things. But um, you know, you know, business was terrible the last two years. This was our recovery year, and hoping that was going to go well. And uh, and we'll and be I need okay. to focus on that, and uh, and hopefully we can we can pull ourselves out of this this mess. Okay. Now you know that people, when they see this interview, will continue with the mm -hmm. same pessimistic thoughts. Those kind of people are going to be pessimistic for the rest of their lives. They always have been and they always will be. And uh, that I have, I have no comments on that whatsoever. It's a, it's a waste of energy to be negative and pessimistic. And I never have been a day in my life and I'm not going to start now. And I, I, don't, you know, I don't like those kind of people around me. It's as simple as that. Not only that, we've beaten ourselves up more than anybody could ever do. Yeah. You know, we've been, we're the ones that are living it, and we regret it, and we have been harder on ourselves than anybody else okay, could baby. ever be. It's okay. So, so I understand where they're coming from. I really understand where people are coming from, and I don't ask, we don't ask any, we're not asking anybody for anything. We're just saying, you know, if we made a bad that choice. If help, that's great. If they can't, then that's perfectly understandable, and uh, it's simple as that, but... Um, we're not the millionaires that uh, people protect, project us to be, that's for sure. That's for sure. And on the other hand, we have family and we have each other and we're, we have, a, we're, we'll be okay. We're just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other and try and focus on the things that are... I've worked 14 hours a day my entire life or more, you know, and... Um, well, maybe I'll just have to work 16 to get it back, that's all. <laughs> in hindsight, what lessons have you learned from this? Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's really any real lessons to be learned. Um, you know, obviously, it's a no-brainer. If you had insurance, this wouldn't happen. Of course, but still, um, you it's know the, what? we had a small, quaint family home. It wasn't a big, luxurious mansion. Not this, even close. This you know? was a small family home that was full of love and full of memories. And, and we still have our memories, so There we'll are a lot of on. people out there, I'm assuming, that don't have fire insurance what advice a lot would you well scrape up the money because uh, you never know what can happen I mean we had a forest fire last year that missed our house by 200 meters a week and, to uh, a, a you week know to what the are day. the chances of that happen the next year mm. I'd say they're pretty low but um, they're not that low because it happened to us so um, you know I guess uh, I thought I could manage a theft because at five grand a year for insurance uh, how much can people steal Right? Not very much usually. We don't have anything that's worth anything to steal, so um, what difference did it make, right? And uh, I never thought we'd have a fire. That's for darn sure. I guess we should have uh, learned from those three, but um, people make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes every single day of the week. I've made them my entire life, and, uh, and anybody that says they've never made mistakes is just lying. That's simple. Okay, so close, closing comments, please. No, I don't know. It's 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 just uh, it's hard to talk about. It really is. I guess the main thing is that we're going to put our lives back together somehow, and we're going to uh, try and enjoy the summer down here on the lake, and uh, try and get our, our feet back on the ground and uh, and get going again. That's all we can do. We have so each that's other. where we're going. It's as simple as that. Those the pessimistic people can. Uh, can keep criticizing and doing whatever they want, and the positive ones will keep supporting us, and uh, 
and we're going forward. It's as simple as that. Okay. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Thank you.